welcome to Board Game Battle Royale. I'm your host, Roy Kane, and with me today, I have Mark Street and Brian Yo. Drake. What's going on? What's it going, What's guys? How Dude, are you? Yeah. So, if you guys don't know what this is, um, this is a crazy bracket thing that I have put together. I actually um, asked our Facebook group um, for the Dice Tower uh, which games we should have on the bracket. I primed the bracket with the People's Choice Top 10 Games, and people added in a bunch of extra games. Um, and then they all voted on those. The 16 top games on that were put into this bracket, which I'll show everybody the bracket now. And um, then these games are going to all face off against each other. So the interesting thing here is last time we did this, me, Mark, and Brian made our choices on the games <laughs> to mixed reaction. You know, some awesome. people loved it. I'd some people hated so. it. It was fun. Um, but this time... We're going to have uh, you guys there in the audience voting on these. Uh, Mark's going to be putting in links in the chat for everybody to vote on a poll. And we're going to yep. check these polls and see which game wins. So, uh, uh, Roy, I have a question. Why isn't, yes. uh, why isn't Escape Curse of the Temple on here? I don't understand. Like, yeah. why, why, why did it not make Listen, it? Listen, I put Escape the Curse of the Temple also on the poll, even though it wasn't in the people's top 100 list or the top 10 was, list. It it, how many votes did it get? It got like zero votes. It's the number one game of all time. I don't all understand. All time, man. All time. <laughs> trolls, trolls, Literally trolls. Right there. Right, see? Ah. Brian cool, Drake cool. says it's number one. It's got to be. Awesome. Well, it, hopefully, um, get your people in here, especially if you have a favorite game. Be like, we got to push this game up to the top. Um, yes, again. I was already talking to the uh, Space Cats Peace Turtles guys, and they, they're going to try to do a showing for some uh, Twilight right. Imperium up in here. We'll see. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it, it has a chance this time, I'm telling you. It does. We'll see. It's got to make it over Terraforming Mars. Anyway, so our first set here is Architects of the West Kingdom mm. versus <laughs> Great Western Trail. So, nice. Brian, tell us a little bit about these games. Yeah, I'm going to start with Great Western Trail, actually. Um, not not to try to influence anyone that's the direct clear winner. But my point is this. I want to talk about Great Western Trail because I really love the system here. It is It has a quote-unquote worker placement feel, but it's more of a worker path feel. So once you pass something up, you can't go back, kind of like a Gizia, until the next round. But what's great is you're making that trail better and better each time. And it's got some deck-building elements to where your deck of cows... You thought you never hear that sentence before, but your deck of cows gets better and better as the game progresses to where you're not only getting more points for your cows being better that you sell in your hand or having more mm -hmm. cows because of more upgrades. You're getting more money, too, and money is pretty helpful when you're going to hire more people, which is, again, another way to get points. It's It's got a bit point salad uh, feel to it. You can get mm -hmm. points several different ways. Yeah. but Just just a bit, really. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> It's a huge point salad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Just a touch of the point salad where you can get like 17,000 different ways to get points. But, right. um, And then Architects of the West Kingdom, I, it's weird to say, but it's kind of in that universe of Raiders of the North Sea. It's the same kind of art style and the same kind of feel. Uh, but it's a wholly different game to where, as opposed to putting a meeple down and picking a meeple up like Raiders uh -huh. of the North Sea in Architects of the West Kingdom, you're kind of powering up the actions by the more times you put a, a worker there, each of these actions gets a little bit better. But I will say this, these two do feel very similar uh -huh. um, the bracket goes. It's not like Twilight Imperium or anything like that. So uh, I would I personally give the win to Great Western Trail just because I like the wholeness of it. But you know, you do you. You know what I'm saying? Like you, you pick what you're going to vote for. But I'm just saying you're wrong if you pick Architects of the West Kingdom. Uh, <laughs> dang it! I'm seeing the results right now. <laughs> awesome. Um, cool. Well, we'll wait a little bit for votes to go in. Mark, do you have a, a preference in between these two games? Uh, you know, neither one is like straight up a Mark type game. But oh yeah, I, mean, I feel I'm you. I'm right play. there with you. I'm a thematic <laughs> fanatic, and these games yeah, do have really cool themes, they but do, they're very yeah. much like worker placement style stuff. They are they, exactly. Um, and uh, Great Western Trail would be the, my preference out of the gate. However, I, I think I like the artwork better in Architects. So mm -hmm. no, you know, that's true. That the visual, true. the visual presentation of that whole series of games, I really like it a lot. So. How about you, Roy? Wow, this is real close here. It is. Look at this. Oh this man, awesome. I know. I know that those Garfield games are supposed to be it's really good. Oh um, man, I'd I'd love to actually play uh, Architects of the West Kingdom just because I've heard so many things about yeah. all those games and how great they are. I yeah. actually haven't played either of these games, which is what? pretty crazy. Uh, Roy! <laughs> I know, right? Listen, Roy, if there, if there's, there's any chance uh, for somebody's vote to count right now. 
basically these are 50 50 right now that yeah. is insane so uh yeah. so it's hey awesome. so uh, space yeah. combat in great western trail it's going should, back and should... forth real close <laughs> it is good it's, bu- it's bouncing back and forth um cool. and i i think i actually as, as much as i would probably pick great western to play over mm-hmm. just for playability sure i feel like again that table presence for architect might oh, yeah, lean yeah. me that way more because it's just in my experience the even though they have the similar kind of things going on i feel like people engage with architects easier than great western mm-hmm. so awesome well i'm gonna i think i think the results are in and i think they're decently definitive even though it's still extremely yeah. close so we're gonna go ahead and show the poll um yeah, do it. So, Architects of the West Kingdom is at 57% with 24 votes, and Great Western Trail is 42% with 18 votes. So, that makes Architects of the West Kingdom the winner Winner. for this round. Let's go ahead, back over to our brackets here, and we shall shall move Architects up. Yes. And actually put it on the top layer. But what yeah, is next for bracket two. That was good. I I love the fact that the uh, you know, like I said with the, with the crowd voting, we have plausible deniability now. That's right. You can't exactly. yell at me. Exactly. I can yell at you. Be like, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, shoot, it's up thirty two twenty two right now. That's yeah. wow. It's still going. <laughs> it's crazy. Awesome. So I guess we will get to the next one. This one's gonna be big too. And I am oh, yeah. I'm worried. I'm worried for a specific <laughs> game. <laughs> um. <laughs> So uh, let's go ahead and put the next verses up here. So these yeah. next two games are Wingspan and Power Grid. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. uh, I, I'd like to talk about these games, too. So, uh, Brian, yes. what are these games? Uh, so Wingspan is, well, it was basically the hottest game of 2019. And literally, it was on, like, the Audubon uh, website, the Zoo website. It was on the New York Times, Washington Post. People who never knew that there was this red pill to universe of board game hobby were talking about Wingspan, right? Mm-hmm. Um, it's a great card kind of driven a little bit, but also action management game um, from Stolmeyer Games. But beautiful looking game. Easy to play. You can teach this relatively quick. There's not a lot of like, well, this combos with this and this and this. No, it's pretty straightforward. It's four actions you can do pretty much. So okay. it looks pretty on the table. The Everybody likes to walk past and see the little birdhouse dice tower, which you can uh-huh. use for, for anything else. Um, excellent game, looking looking game. Uh, plays really nice. Power Grid, though, it's kind of a classic. It's kind of in that oh, next sure. step. You, say, oh, you like Ticket to Ride? Let's do Power Grid. Here's this yeah. great... Um, my only knock against Power Grid is, holy cow, you better have a math brain. He's like, I need yes. 17 <laughs> plus 47, 63. <laughs> it's like, it's but, super um, math. Super math. Yeah. But lovely network building, great auction mechanics for Power Grid. Mm-hmm. Just a really, really fun game to get together with friends and play because it really – it forces interaction like that. Yeah, I would say mm-hmm. the auction mechanics my favorite bit mm-hmm. about Power Grid by far. So, Yeah, definitely two uh, games that are – that are very different. Uh, Wingspan definitely super appeals to me. Like that would be my vote, just because I love, I love engine building games, and the engine building is really cool just to see all the different style birds in the game. Power Grid. I actually got a copy of Power Grid for like five dollars at a Goodwill one time, and I immediately That's, traded away for serious? Marvel Legendary Villains. Yes. It's <laughs> uh, uh, a good choice. Uh, <laughs> for, for, you know, if you can get it for five, trade up. Trade um, up. I am actually though terrified of birds, so this is this is a little Ooh. bit weird for me. Like <laughs> legit fear of birds. <laughs> so there's you that. Know, I'm, this is gonna make me super unpopular, but wingspan I, it's beautiful, absolutely. Mm-hmm. One hundred butt coming. <laughs> beautiful, and uh, it's been great to to teach uh, like new players. It, actually, entry level has been great for it. Mm-hmm. But you know, everybody was hyping it to me, right? And I hadn't played it, so I was super excited. And we're in yeah. the middle of the game, and I'm like, um, is this it? <laughs> yeah. Like, wait, where's the next mechanic? Where's this the is where the entire game? chat churns against like, you, Mark. I feel yeah. like I'm, I'm just looking for the amazing. I don't see it. <laughs> I, yeah. But I did. I do enjoy playing it. That's not it at all. I just was, the hype made me more mm-hmm. excited than it was worth, right? So. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure people are standing outside of your house with signs. And <laughs> yeah, pickets. I think so. I think so. <laughs> well, I think we have a definitive winner for this one already. So I'll go yeah. ahead and show the poll, and we'll take a look at that. 
Um, this is Wingspan as the winner with nice. 62% yep. and 47 votes. And Power Grid with nothing to sneeze at, 37 votes. Or 37% and 28 votes. Right. So yeah, yeah see, it's, it's still... 100% correct in the chat, so... Okay. <laughs> we <laughs> haven't... That's we still haven't need, had, bro. like, a, a, like, landslide yet. So I wonder, I wonder if any of our bracket will be just, like, wreck everything else. We'll have to see. Right. Um, but yeah, that was definitely a little bit more decisive. We weren't on 50% yeah. for half, half a thing. Right. Yeah, yeah. That first bracket was pretty fun, actually. That was really cool. Oh yeah. Um, it was back and forth. It was back and forth yeah, real, yeah. real close. All right. So, um, so that, that pushes wingspan up wingspan and architects against, right? So next we are at scythe and seven oh. wonders. Oh my goodness. Yee, this These is are awesome. such, such a, such a, Two different games, and yeah. I do want to note, I, I got all the 16 games, and I just put them into a random number generator, and whatever the pairings came up, that was the pairings. I know that people love Seven Wonders, yeah, but I really fair. know people love Scythe. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, wow, that's, geez Louise, that's tough. Tell us about them, Brian. Okay, so Scythe is is one of our top three games of all time. It's, uh, mm -hmm. it's, it's great, but also Seven Wonders was that really... I guess it's our. It was our second like next step game. Not next step game. It was our second game into this foray into the hobby. And so, beautiful, beautiful looking game. The theme doesn't matter. I mean, you're essentially collecting resources to build things. It's a card tableau builder, but it's it's one of the best because it moves so quickly, and uh, it's pretty easy to teach, especially the base game. Now. Scythe, on the other hand, kind of the opposite end of the spectrum there. It's a little heavier. Uh, uh -huh. It is a Euro game, though. So um, it, while if you look at it, you go, oh, man, I can't wait to sling some dice and kill people. You go, oh, wait, what if I told you that when you fought, you just went back to your home and there are no dice? It's, but it's it, a it resource has, management game. Or, it still has <laughs> that, like, Dune combat that I really like, too, though. It's like deterministic yeah. combat. And you can get stars from combat. Oh, yep. absolutely. And especially if you play with... I don't know if I should mention that, but there are expansions. I won't tell you which ones that allow you to uh, get more stars from combat, et cetera, and things like that. So, uh, yeah, it's man, I can't I can't recommend Scythe enough just because of the experience. I've never had a bad experience playing Scythe. Even when you're playing mm -hmm. with those people, you're like, mm -hmm. please get out of my game. Just go away. Yeah. You know, <laughs> so, so, that would usually be my nephew, not anybody else. Ooh, this this is much tighter than I would have thought. Mm -hmm. I, I want to know in the chat, like, what is it you love about, if you're voting for Seven Wonders, what is it you love about Seven Wonders? It's got to be the fact that, like, too. it is a, a, a like, medium-ish weight game that yeah. plays really well with big numbers of players. And there's yeah, not many games that give you, like, that crunchy feel that can play all the way up to perfect. seven people. That's crazy. Yep. And I love yeah. that turns move well, really and, fast, right? I mean, oh, yeah. There's, like, it's a very barely any downtime. Like, you feel like you're interacting with everybody the whole time and there's like, Oh, what is he doing over there? And yeah. I, I, really, I really like, it. so it moves so fast too, where you're like, wait, which stack did you just give yeah. me? Is this attack you just yeah. gave me? <laughs> exactly. I love that. But you know, Sai has that amazing table presence as well, which I love. Thank and you. I, I've had so many fun games aside. Um, uh -huh. Yeah, well, so. uh, before before we end the voting on that, it, that's what I love about Scythe, too. It always feels like it's your turn, too, because the action oh, yes. moves so that's quickly. So, so there's a fight. It's just like, boom, boom, boom. I'm building. You're, you're doing this. Or, yeah, that's what I love about it. And I love Designers, it. make more games with low downtime. Do it. Yes. Yes. They're the best. And I really like the fact that the, the player boards are recessed, you know, for all your yeah. stuff. It's so cool. Well, I'm going to go ahead and call it because we got to get a lot of things to go through here. Yeah. So let's go ahead and look at the poll. Um, it is it Scythe as the winner with 54% yeah. and 50 Ooh. votes and Seven Wonders is with 47% wow. and 24 votes. That was really close. I thought Scythe was going to yeah. landslide that. I did too. Yep. Like, I mean, now I have played a bunch of games of Seven Wonders on my iPad uh -huh. since it's come out in like three minutes or less. Like that's, so I mean, it is, it is a good game. Yeah, for sure. Yep, awesome. Absolutely. Well, let me bring Scythe up here on the bracket. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> All right. Well, our next that. matchup, our next matchup is pretty intense as well. Yes. This is going to be Gloomhaven versus Pandemic Legacy. Absolutely. 
which is great because since the last time we did this, I had not played Gloomhaven. That has seriously oh, been really? remedied since the last time. So wow. I've been slinging some gloom and havening nice. it all. It's been it's been great. Um, really enjoyed it. So uh, big hundred hour plus campaign game yeah, yeah. miniature. Well, not full miniatures, but your characters miniatures, and then there's cutouts and things like that. Um, it's a puzzle every time you play a mission. It's not a okay. Well, we just uh-huh. got to get through this and shoot some stormtroopers. It's a puzzle. So if you like fantasy, I, and somebody said this last time we did this and said, oh, it's not in generic fantasy like you're saying. And I, I didn't believe them until I started playing. And I was like, no, they've really done a good job of kind of making their universe feel like its own thing. Um, kind of like that's when you read definitely Sanders not very stuff, generic go, at all. No. no, 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 that's it. That's what I love about it. Um, all the races are pretty unique and things like that. But uh, mm-hmm. but pandemic, pandemic Legacy, on the other hand, this was kind of like the boneyard match of WrestleMania. If, if you'll, oh, if you'll for sure. For a moment. It is. I, uh, I kept hearing people talk about it. I was like, no, I, I, it's just pandemic, right? And then we got a copy for Father's Day, like the year, I think the year it came out or the half year after it came out. And we played like a mission. We're like, oh, this is this is cool. We played two, and then by the next weekend, we entire campaign. It was like we had to play. We, we just lost. We got to play again. We got to yeah. be. And it was such a fantastic experience that may or may not be able to be captured again. Even around Legacy Two is good, but man, that first time playing a Legacy game that was cooperative, that was story driven, oh, like for that. Sure. If you, in fact, go. Get, I highly recommend go get a copy of it anyway. Even if even if Pandemic doesn't win this, go get a copy of Pandemic Legacy because it's yeah. cheap. First of all, now, uh, and man, it's good. this is the closest I, closest voting yet. Oh, wow. I bet this one. This one right here is real rough because because uh, uh, mm-hmm. both of these are amazing games. Like they're yeah. extremely highly rated. Everybody yeah. loves these games. I mean, for me personally. I really enjoyed Pandemic Legacy, but I, I, the p- Pandemic thing overall, I've played Pandemic a lot. Gloomhaven definitely has an interesting like experience that you get out of the game, and I just love the card play. So for my personal vote, it would be Gloomhaven. Um, right. But I, I can see how people love both of these games. Right. The thing that I find interesting about this pairing, too, is the fact that both of these games really kind of require you to pull the same group together to oh, get yeah, sure. the right. entire the entire sequence of the game. And it, it, and obviously that's a challenge. I mean, there's especially with Gloomhaven uh, because there's so much. But uh, if you can stick with that same group, it enhances the games so, so much. But that is the rewarding thing about this hobby, unlike like, hey, we're jump roping together next week. You know what I'm saying? Like this hobby is so great about that about in in like emboldening friendships like that and really digging them deeper because of a game. Yep. Oh man. The crazy is... thing about doing this like brackets and matchup stuff, <laughs> yeah. the fact that these two games were randomly paired together, uh-huh. either right. of these games could make it all the way to the top, you know? Oh, absolutely. But because yeah. they were paired together, one of them has to go down. So if you're not voting yeah. for your, your favorite game here, <laughs> you better you better do it. <laughs> it's so close. I feel it's like so and for me personally, um I love both these games so much. But uh-huh. I think um Pandemic Legacy, um I've had more memorable nights with, mm-hmm. with, the, yeah. with, yeah, it's been like, oh my gosh, you opened that box, right? And things like that. Right. Um, I think there was just more memorable game moments with Legacy for me. Sure. And I feel like Z Garcia would murder us if we, if we allowed anything to beat <laughs> Pandemic. I can hear him now, like, you did what? <laughs> I was like, come on, man. <laughs> I'm sure he understands. Man, yeah. it's so close. It's hard to call it, but I guess oh, I yeah, have no. to at some point. So, so close. So I'm, I'm just going to refresh one more time here. Yeah. All yeah. right, cool. We're going with that. Boom. Um, you had your chance, just to know. Wow. So with 51%, yeah, Pandemic Legacy crazy. wins with 53 votes. And um, then uh, Gloomhaven at 48% with 50 votes. Holy smokes. I'm super surprised, close. actually. I thought Gloomhaven would close. just take it. <laughs> I thought Gloomhaven would take it too, but it was it was it, it was number one on BGC right now. Yeah, yeah. Let me pull Pandemi- it up. I, I Pandemic think it's Legacy one, right? was on number one for a while. So yeah, yeah, forever, of course, for a long time. Yeah. If we would have done a triple versus Gloomhaven, it is. It's number one and number two. If we'd have done a Pandemic Legacy versus Gloomhaven, and then when I got in the hobby, Twilight Struggle was there forever and ever. Yeah. That, that would be like a I murder. Feel like Half the people in the chat are now going to be mad at the other half of the people in the chat. <laughs> Why? Why can't you do that? Why do you like viruses? Don't you know what's going on in the news? What's wrong right. with you? All <laughs> right. Boy, Al, after Al. <laughs> okay, cool. This next one. These games are so different. 
Oh These my These games gosh. are so different. Dude, Castles yeah. of Burgundy versus <laughs> Blood Rage. So uh. <laughs> this is insane. This is a crazy matchup right here. Like castles of like I'll just let Brian take it away about these two games. Oh, I appreciate that. I appreciate you just dumping that over. Hey, talk about how these games are different. <laughs> Let's start with the easier one to really differentiate. Blood Rage is in Eric Lang's area control mythological game. So we have three currently. Well, one is not out yet. It's about to hit. Uh, I hear somebody got a chance to play it, and I'm yeah, super jealous. Somebody played uh, it. Wait, who who would have Some- played that? Yeah, yeah who would have played that? Um, you have Ankh, Rising Sun, and Blood Rage was the first. This is a Viking uh, mythological, Norse mythological um, game about area control, and but it also features uh, drafting, and that drafting is what makes or breaks the game. If, if you're a new person playing Blood Rage against people who play all the time, mm-hmm. you will lose. There's no it's lucky, tough. like, I might get good at the, No, you, you're going to lose bad. Uh, whereas Castles of Burgundy is a dice drafting game. Dice placement. So uh, it's ugly, that's for sure. But <laughs> here's the thing. It's just so good. It's got that – it's what we call that Feldy feel, you know, where it's like, mm-hmm. hey, I have, to, I have to frown. But what you just did caused it where I can't do it, so I have to settle for my second best option, which scoots me back like three turns. You know, yeah, they're all yeah, like yeah. that in, in a good way. Yep. So um, you're talking about a brain burner of a lighter weight game in Castles mm-hmm. of Burgundy. It's not a super heavyweight game, but it's a like every turn is important versus mm-hmm. Blood Rage is just a it, it's so aptly named. It really is because yeah. I mm-hmm. haven't I'm a calm gamer, but I oh, have yeah, yeah. I've ever been throwing something and flipping the table was at Blood Rage. I'll tell you what happened real quick. Because um, <laughs> I, I, I remember this day and I tell my friends, I'm like, I'm, I can't play this anymore. Uh, I had the Loki card that allows you to, if you're the loser, you get to, um, you get a benefit if you lose a mission. Well, it was three of us in a fight and two of them tied. And I was like, oh, cool. I still get the benefit. And he's like, no, we tied. So there's no loser. I'm like, oh, I'm sorry, what? And so I let that go. It happened again, and I almost threw everything off the table. Just get out of here. <laughs> I built a whole plan on that, and twice, yeah. Uh, I'm sure that's my, my fault. But it's, you know. So there's that. How are we looking on the voting on that one? Let's see. It's, oh, it's man. actually pretty close. Wow. Mm. That's, um, but again, you're talking the very Euro, um, yeah. classic Euro versus that kind of yeah, the thing about castles though is that you actually building a castle, which is super yeah. cool, right? I mean that all that that tactile experience, Blood Rage doesn't have that like no. that. You know, are so, you trying to say Blood Rage isn't tactile? You can touch all these gigantic miniatures. Come on! Type, but that's not what I mean. I mean you don't physically feel like you're building something, right? I'm building up my clan. It's <laughs> true. I'm building my you know, my pride I, when I destroy I'm you. Picking, I'm not picking castles over blood rage. I love I love 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 bro, blood rage. But I no, just, we heard it in your voice. That's clearly what you meant. <laughs> I'm I getting Eric like on the experience. phone right now. <laughs> explain yourself. Explain yourself right now, Street. <laughs> ah, that's awesome. It is yeah. actually decently close. Um, it is. Yeah. But I think we definitely have a winner here. So I'll go yeah. ahead and bring it up to the poll vote. page. We do. Uh, with fifty-five percent, Blood Rage is the winner with Ooh. fifty-four votes, and Castles of Burgundy has forty-four percent with forty-three votes. So Blood Rage moves up. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, those games were so different. Is insane. It is funny that people can see the value in both, though, in a head-to-head like that. It's not like well, clearly oh, sure. they shouldn't go together. They make sense actually. If you, mm-hmm. you know, again, we can't help it because it's random. But you know what I mean. Yeah. Checking the best of the the best so uh this next one is going to be insane uh, because these are also extremely different games someone in the chat was saying how is heroes of land air and sea on the list (laughs) it's not in the people's choice top it's not in the people's choice top 100 i didn't even put it on our poll somebody else was like where's heroes of land air and sea i was like put it on the poll i'll vote for it um but when they actually put on the poll it ended up pushing its way into the crowd and do note that the only reason Heroes of Land, Air, and Sea is on the list is because both Pandemic and Pandemic <laughs> Legacy did make it onto the list, and we chose to put Pandemic Legacy and kind of combine those two together. Yeah. Um, because it seems strange to have both Pandemic and Pandemic Legacy, even though they are extremely similar. Even though I'm sure people feel different ways. If you like Pandemic, push Pandemic Legacy up even higher, I guess. Yeah. But mm-hmm. well, here we go. Talk about these, Brian. 
Well, so I'll start with Ticket to Ride. This was this was our gateway game. This was the one that actually got us into the hobby when friends came over. They're like, hey, you, you, we haven't seen you guys in 10 years. Let's get together. Uh, we'll bring some games over. And I was like, oh, cool. You know, we used to like playing Trivial Pursuit, blah, blah, blah. And so they come over and they have a, I think they brought ticket, they brought a ticket around this couple, a couple other things. We played it. And I was like, this is fantastic. <laughs> and, uh, and so we bought a copy and we just played and played and played. It was just, it was so much fun. Um, and I still love it. It's one of those games where even though, you know, we've, you, you kind of have that, we've moved on to deeper game, you know what I'm saying? But like, I love Ticket to Ride. There's, mm-hmm. I'll yeah. play it any time of the day. Uh, and I love all the new versions too. Like even the little versions, the London and, uh, what's the other one? New York. Mm-hmm. But, there's also kind of the depth of the expansions, the UK and all that sort of stuff. Whereas, let's completely shift gears and take the person who just got in the hobby and maybe put a couple of years behind them and say, hey, what about this 4X game? What's 4X, you ask? Well, here it is. And in this time, we're not doing it in space. We're doing it with goblins mm-hmm. and land, air, and sea, uh, for that matter. But um, yep. it's it's just it's such a beautiful game on the table. You it can't. Is walk past the air, land yeah. air and go oh no i don't want to play that you go i don't care what that is i want to try it Let's yeah the production value is crazy mm-hmm. and here's a land yeah. air and see but there's no way you can deny the gateway power and the amount of people that have actually played ticket to ride it's insane right. i mean it's everywhere i mean and yeah, it's a lot of people's injury to the hobby yeah mm-hmm. exactly and the thing the thing with me for ticket to ride we as the kids were growing up they we played it so much that it's the one game in our library that has more house rules than any other game because <laughs> we've just made it evolve over the years with what we're doing. Right. Right. Um, mm-hmm. So it's just pretty interesting. And then of course, all the different maps and things you can do. Absolutely. So, um, but there is that, there was a time I was feeling pretty burned out. I'm like, not again. <laughs> oh, for sure. You know? No, that's right. So, I feel like for this to, to push the audience one way or the other, I feel like I almost have to say vote with your heart. Which one gives you that uh, that warmer nostalgic feeling? <laughs> Wait, what? I'm about to say most of the people in the chat haven't played one of these games. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so right, here's Here the problem. Though, hands down. Oh my gosh, dude! Oh, like you said, on the table, just mm-hmm. so, just amazing. It's just oh yeah, uh, just such a good game. But if people want to remedy that. Maybe someday we'll have Dice Tower events again, and I will teach you yeah. Heroes of Land, Air, and Sea. So, so hey, yeah. hey back that. when we had Dice Tower events, I still hadn't got a chance to play this with you yet. <laughs> yeah, well, I've, that's, I've that's your own fault, Brian. <laughs> of course, Roy anyway. just dominates in that game. You know? uh, no, not normally. Normally, people don't let me. They jump me, <laughs> <That's awesome. laughs> which is fun, too. Uh, cool, yeah, yeah. so let's go ahead and show the poll, because this is not even close. No, um, this is our 70% this is the percent Ticket to Ride with 75 votes. Heroes of Land, Air, and Sea is 29% with 31 votes. So there was 31 people that were like, yeah, forget gateway games. Let's go right. hardcore. <laughs> yep. I don't care about your gateways. <laughs> That's, That's awesome. awesome. Oh, my. Is this what I think is coming next? Okay, let's see. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the, the next yeah. one's a big one. Oh, man. This is the one. I awesome. feel like I do feel like there needs to be a chair shot where where uh, Escape comes in and runs out and takes out Terraforming Mars, and then it's just like, oh no, you're gonna fight me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure Stronghold would be like, what? Yeah, yeah exactly. right. You took awesome. my game out. Why did you take my game out? What do you take the Fantasy Flights game out for? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, this next one well, is said. Terraforming Mars <laughs> versus Twilight Imperium. They're yep. both kind of space games. Terraforming They're Mars is like scientific engine building. Twilight Imperium is gigantic 4X game. Yeah. It's also next year head, which is, I'm just, I don't, is that, that's third edition, right? Next year head. No, this is fourth. Oh, it's totally fourth. I can't. I don't know I that everybody can't. else can see it. I'm going to have to like turn oh, my. Thing. You have, Roy, do you have yeah. all the editions of TI? Why would I know? <laughs> I'm just asking. I thought maybe. I, I, I got fourth because I like it because it's more streamlined, but there yeah. are some things from third that I still miss. Uh, Absolutely. The, explore, the exploration module. I still, like say, that. Um, I still say the problem with TI is the fact that I can't get it to the table more than maybe once a year. Yeah, sure. but you never forget that one game that you played right. of oh, it's TI. Awesome. It's, it's awesome. amazingly yeah. epic. Yep. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually going to go with T.I. I don't know if I tell the chat what to do, but I'm going to go with T.I. this time, whereas I went with Escape last time, partially <laughs> because it was funny, but also because we talked about it. Like, hey, every time you play Escape, you have a good experience. Blah, blah. 
Terraform and Mars is an equal brain burner. Uh, yeah. Now, let, let me let me put out a theory here. Scale the time for a second. Scale the time. If you were to take the a four person game of Terraform and Mars, it's a long game. If you were to add two players to that, you'd be coming up pretty close to the length of time that uh, that TI four takes to play. Almost. If you added a six player game, it uh, plays five, right? Uh -huh. So if you play it with all the people in and oh, everyone is going, six. no, 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 I'm six. saying oh, yeah, Terraform Mars. Oh, if Terraform Mars. Like yeah. this on every turn, going, hmm, what do I want to do? They're, they're both long games, they are. which is why precisely I, I, I personally give the vote to Twilight Imperium because I, the experience is so memorable every time. Oh, for sure. Yep. Oh, come on! What? No! No! <laughs> I just looked at the. Come on, guys, get in here! I tell you what, go play a quick game of, Ter of Twilight yeah, Imperium just, and then come back to us. Just real quick. Yeah, yeah. You'll be able to finish <laughs> up that game of Twilight Imperium by the time the stream is done, I'm sure. We're right, going to well, stay on uh, here for like five hours. When we do Battle Royale number four, you'll be able to come back with the uh, with the results. <laughs> I, from the game you just finished. Yes. Oh, man, I love Twilight Imperium. I normally play in the month of May because it's like my birthday. And like that's uh, the yeah. time when I always get a chance to play this game. It's like, it's Twilight Imperium time. Let's do this. And yeah. I need to make that happen again this year. It's time for you me to play do. more Twilight Imperium. But you yeah. also sounded like a little bit like the guy in Happy Gilmore because you said, I like to play in the month of May because it's my birthday. It was pretty great. There you go. There you go. That's how you do it. Awesome. Well, I guess we'll go ahead and show the results here. Uh, and that is Terraforming Mars at 59% with 63 votes and Twilight Imperium 4 at 40% with 43 votes, making Terraforming Mars the winner. Yeah. It's all hope of gaming humanity. Pe people don't have time for Epic. I really, on, thought, I really th thought T.I. would just take this one. I did too, Terraforming Mars I mean, is so popular. It is, it is. so extremely it's, popular. I am curious. They're, they're not going to get there this time. I'm curious how Castles of Burgundy would have done against T.I. 4 versus the other mm -hmm. one. Because, you know, they're both... Those are talked about. They're, they're mm -hmm. uh, always talked about and hyped up. But The <sighs> matchups make a huge difference in this, for sure. It does. But so. nothing deserves to not be on here is the interesting thing. Right. Exactly, yeah, yeah. Awesome. Well, this one's going to be interesting. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> oh, yeah. One of them is set up on my table right now. Really? Mm -hmm. Does it have a tree or not? It does, but we're not using it. <laughs> so, oh. <laughs> I was just using that to figure out which game it was. Yeah, cool. That's exactly. <laughs> well, this next one is Everdale versus Viticulture. Go ahead, yeah. Brian. Talk to us about these games. Now, I'm going to assume when we say Viticulture, we mean Viticulture, the Essential Edition. And heck, for that matter, you can throw in Tuscany because you should never play with my, without most of Tuscany Essential Edition. Right. But with all that being said, let's just say Essential Edition right now. Uh, mm -hmm. One of the best worker placements of all time. It is just mm -hmm. so, so well done. Um, oh, and, sure. and some people, and I even had this comment before. Where people were criticizing me for saying that. Said, well, yeah, but you didn't play the first edition. I'm like... I don't have to because it's time is linear and I don't have to oh, go back sure. in time. Play the, right. I can play the edition. <laughs> oh, so for sure. It's really well done. It, it obviously it's just, it's well thought out. Um, a lot of, a uh, lot of, you know, thought. And, and I love the fact that you're building your vineyards, which really do um, feel like you're doing a fruit thing. That's what I like about Agricola. When you produce food, it feels like a food mechanic as opposed to yeah. just a resource. It's like it grows. So your grapes will age and they'll get better. And then you can turn them into <laughs> wine, which can get better. And if you mix a couple of your relatives sort of, or whatever they call it in there, it's, it's really well done with that. Now, as far as Everdale goes, uh, also one of those prestige looking games when you see it on the table, you go, wow, that's yeah. a tree on there. Yep. And then you Absolutely. go, wow, that's a pain in the butt to put that tree together. Uh, <laughs> because it, if, if your cardboard plays. But great. Um, uh -huh. It's on the lighter side. It's on the lighter oh, side yeah. of worker games. Very much uh, the the Belfair expansion and the Spirecrest expansion add a lot to that to make it a little bit more in-depth, mm -hmm. but um, base game by itself. It's lighter, but it's got a nice tableau element where, hey, I have the husband, I need the wife, and we can put them in this building. So, yes, there's card play and things like that you're trying to collect in your tableau in your town, but looking down at your town and going, this keys off this, which this, and when I do this, it, they all kind of trigger again. I like mm -hmm. that kind of feel of I'm building my town and it matters mm -hmm. what yes. I put in it. Them. I, um, I love the way great. Everdale looks. It just looks so beautiful with all the little woodland creatures. And I love the little engine building of your tableau oh, and yeah. trying to get the buildings to match the people and then trying to have those special abilities trigger. It's like I get berries here and I use those berries to buy right. this thing. And then I use that yes. to get this and this exchanges for that. It's it's just fun way to figure out how to min max those points. 
Well, yep. and I love that it's berries, twigs, and pebbles, Pebble, not rocks, yeah. wood. And, uh, and so I love that kind of I thing. Love, but I love that too. I thought that was so cool. And uh, I agree 100%. The, the whole tableau, that's the best part of that game for me. Mm-hmm. Uh, building, and you totally feel engaged in building that out, right? I just that's like that a lot. It is funny, though. This is like the Deep Impact Armageddon effect, whereas the very year that Root and uh, this came out was like back to back almost to where they, there's no yeah. way they could have like been, you know, like even thought oh, about yeah, it at yeah. the same time. But they came right. out so soon. It's really funny how last year was the year of small woodland creatures. And I missed that <laughs> or two years ago. I guess I love small woodland creature games. So, That's oh, awesome. man, this is this is a lot tighter than I kind of would have thought. Yeah, this is pretty close. It, it is going the way I thought it was going yeah, go, oh, to go, to be honest with you. But um Man, because if you play, if you're a worker placement fan and you've played Viticulture, I've yet to meet anybody who doesn't like it. I mean, it's just, it's, I don't know. I it's know, hard to I say know it's it extremely is. highly regarded. So, mm-hmm. awesome. It, well, I guess the results are pretty much in on it, this one. So, they are. we'll go ahead no, and show this. So, we're going to look at uh, Viticulture is the winner with 55%. Ooh, and right. 56 votes. And then Everdale with 44% and 45 votes. Man, that was actually pretty close. I thought Viticulture was going to landslide that. Yeah. Yep, same. same. Ooh. That's definitely good stuff. Next oh, one man. looks pretty tricky. Right. I'm actually finally looking at the bracket to see what's what now. It's, it's right? yeah. <laughs> it's pretty tricky. Yeah, this round's <laughs> going to be insane. Now we're going back to the top, up okay. in the other corner here. Um, back to the left over here. Um, this is going to be Architects of the West Kingdom versus Wingspan. Ooh. Yeah. Let's see if I can get these. Ooh. Board. <clears throat> All right. This one's hard for me, actually, because I, um, I like Raiders better than Architects. And mm-hmm. I like Architects better than Wingspan. But I know that I, I feel like I feel like yet again I'm going to get yelled at by the uh, the majority of the chat for how dare you? <laughs> oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> but I'm I'm actually really excited to see how this is going to turn out because these are both not bad games. They're both good games. Obviously, well everything on here is good games, but you know what I oh, mean. Oh for sure. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how these do. So we're not going to explain yeah. each of these games again no. each time because yeah. you guys tell us tell us about this game. Yeah, right? Tell us, chat, chat, let us know. Wrong box. Mm. I don't know what that means. Oh, there's the vote. Votes are coming in. Yep, they're coming in. Oh, that's good. Let me see what we got here. Wow. It's really fun to just click it the button Whoa, really fast. This is so and close. Moves. Yeah, look at it's, that. It's, Man, I definitely have tight. Wingspan up in here. Um, for me personally, I, yeah, I think I got to vote wingspan as well. Just be, you yep. know, just and it, it, I do have the issues that Mark's and Mark didn't say them as issues, but in, in a sense, like <laughs> right. that, you know what I mean? Like where yeah. it does feel like, oh, okay, right, that's it. That's good. It's yeah, a good exactly. that's it, but it's <laughs> like, oh, that's it. You know, so. <clears throat> so if if anybody's still wondering how to vote, um, Mark Street is posting the links in the chat. Yep. So um, yep. go back, scroll through, find Mark Street's post. And you can click on the link, and it'll bring you to a little poll. And there you can vote on either of these games. Um, and that way we can figure it out. Wow, this is... Yeah, this is nice and tight here. Oh, I, mean, it's, I see. It's loosening up some. There we go. Okay. I have, I have to go back and fix the bracket, apparently. I got a little Did carried away. Got a little carried away. They're keeping me honest here. <laughs> what did you do, man? I put I put Everdale over Viticulture. Uh, <laughs> I was too busy thinking about like what do I got to do to make this thing look great. At there the end, it's gonna be Twilight Imperium versus Heroes Lander, and see, be like, wait, what? Like, what happened? What happened? <laughs> I'd be fine with that. Yeah, Listen, that would be amazing. If I had enough time to play those four X games with everybody in chat, this would go way differently. That's but true. you know what? <laughs> I don't have that kind of time. <laughs> If I had the rest of my life to do this. If I had the rest of my it's life. It's my sole mission to <laughs> influence the board game infrastructure with 4X games. Let's do this. Yeah. Now, I am with you on that. I, I, did you see that one I played the other day, the final flick tier? It's a flicking. I think, Mark, did you do a preview? I on that? really wanted yeah, to play yeah. that. I haven't played it. Pretty oh, they sent neat. it to you. I was like, we yeah, had that in the studio. Neat. Oh, it's because they sent it to you. That's where it went. <laughs> I got it in the box to stop, man. It's like Kenny just goes, just like, here you go. Here's some junk or potential. (laughs) (laughs) 
That's what awesome. Tom says. Well, Every time Tom says that, I feel like he's winking when he says it. Hey, you got some potentials. <laughs> yeah, it, that's exactly what it is. And why is it coming to me? <laughs> cool. Well, here, uh, here is the poll result results. We have Yikes. wingspan with fifty eight percent of the and seventy six votes, and then architects of the West Kingdom with forty one percent with fifty three votes. Thirty votes total. That's good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We're, there's a lot of people in here making these <clears throat> votes happen. So thanks everybody for that. Sweet. Sweet. Well, let's make sure to uh, move the right box this time. <laughs> That's fine. You can cheat. <clears throat> All right. Here's our bracket again. Um, this is another one that's going to be insane. Um, it's going to be Scythe versus oh, Pandemic God. Legacy. No. No. Find crazy. Games. Why did it come this? Oh, my gosh. Okay. Well. Hmm. All right. I'm getting the vote ready. You guys ready? Do it. All right. Here we go. I, I guess I if, if I could, here. what do they call it? An amicus brief when it comes to a, a friend of the court brief. Uh, if okay. I could lay the case there, if we're talking pandemic legacy as a whole and just side as a whole, then I, it's still tricky. But if we're including the campaign of the rise oh, of yeah. Fenris, well, I'm just saying, you know, true. It's, a, it's up to, it's up to the voter to figure out how they want to vote. Right. Like, yeah, that's right. Um, because yeah, I, Every game of Pandemic Legacy. Oh well, actually no, I take that back. Not every game because every game of Pandemic Legacy either was like this, like, gosh, we were so close. What yes. if I just had one more action? <laughs> Versus like, yeah, open that box. Whereas Sides is like, oh, cool, check out mm -hmm. blank, and blank yeah. is blank, blank. You know, so I get some. But Side alone is just fun. You know, oh, yeah. Side is technically a four X game, so I think that's yeah. still technically still, still in there. <laughs> it is, yeah. <laughs> I like that. Oh, I man. Like <laughs> the exploration cards inside are so insane, though. It's like reputation. Yeah. You can't lose reputation, but you could do right. some dirty things, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like and there are no bad a, choices inside. Man, it'd be this is a tough choice for me. I I love both these games so much. <laughs> I'm well, definitely down with Scythe. Carl and I were talking like, hey, we want to get another copy of Pandemic Legacy 1 and go back through it because we're playing yeah. – yeah, we, we we started two two years ago and we oh, picked it awesome. up and like i really want to go back and do one again but yep. i will if anybody it happened on the cruise you know where i was on the way to do something so hey you want to play science like yep let's do it nice well this is tight oh it is it's is tight it's, it's okay. bouncing around still so oh wow yeah oh man everybody get your votes in because they definitely Come count on. here no they those last count four really counts, counts guys really count. <laughs> oh man there we go. people on, are voting and making it even closer wow. yeah <laughs> okay uh, i guess at a certain point i gotta call it and even though it is insanely yeah. give, close give him a 10 count give him a 10 count give him a 10 all count right. yeah all right 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 oh, man. 1 <laughs> another one happened to make it even closer okay we're just gonna oh, call it this we're calling it this. This is a close one right here. This is Scythe at 52% with yeah. 68 votes and Pandemic Legacy at 47 with 62 votes. Wow, Amazing. which gives Amazing. it to Scythe. But n very close. Very it's close like here. Very, I thought, very close. I don't know. That's I don't know how I felt with this game. I know Scythe Scythe's so beloved by people. Yep. Do you do you like it a lot, Roy? Even though it's a little bit more Euro, or is it kind of? Oh yeah, I, I I enjoy I enjoy the uh, hybrid stuff of it. I need to play it a lot more just because I sure, haven't had but... a whole lot of plays in Scythe, but yeah. I enjoy I enjoy what it does, and especially since I know there's stuff that you can add in that maybe right. mix up the game a lot too. When you look at expansions, it can be really good. Now this <laughs> this next matchup is going to be crazy as well. This will be this will be interesting, right? Yeah, yeah. Let's see round. Are Ticket we in round three? Ride. Versus Blood Rage. Oh round, my gosh. Round two. So, I'm so, worried that Ticket to Ride's just going to knock off anything it's up against now because yeah. of what happened a minute ago. And, and I love Ticket to Ride, but wow, this one is tough because you cannot paint the miniatures of Ticket to Ride, let me just say. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and and Brian does try. a painting segment. He can't even figure out how to make it happen. I, I know. Uh, well, there, there's two votes 100% Blood Rage. <laughs> 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 call it. Call it. <laughs> Oh man, Blood Rage is so good though. I love I like Ticket to Ride for its gateway nature. Sure. But Blood Rage is just I mean, Blood Rage is in my top ten of all time. Like I love yeah. Blood Rage. I love the mechanics it's done. 
And I just well, love the way the way you can play it. It's well, I said it's very Euro-y, even though I, it is. But I, I mean, I, what I other agree. game allows you to feel what the game is called while you're playing it? I mean, right. Ticket to Ride, you're not actually riding a train. Blood Rage, you're angry as heck the whole yes. time. You know, so, and that, I, dude, look at this, fifty-four, fifty-four. <laughs> yeah, I know it's close. Hundred percent Blood Rage for me, absolutely. But the thing is, is that, like you said earlier. If you're a new player, you're going to get destroyed. Oh, yeah, But absolutely. Ticket to Ride isn't like that. So, no, I mean, you can actually play and, and you're not sure that – I mean, there's some degree, you know, obviously seasoned people with Ticket to sure. Ride really well. But uh, Blood Rage is definitely hugely that, mm-hmm. you know. My favorite moment in Ticket to Ride is the, ooh, I'm going to take tickets and gamble. Do I already have these completed? Yes, I have them completed. Yeah, that, there's nothing better than that paying yeah. off. Oh, my gosh, yes. Is, is it possible for this vote to be closer than the last Guys, vote? It's unreal, this is crazy. man. Like, yeah, look at this. Unreal. And these oh games gosh, are like dude, so oh. different. Is oh, my gosh. Oh, there it goes. There, okay. oh, my gosh. This but is still, time. look at the dead heat. Come on. Uh, everybody, I, I wonder if everybody else is there refreshing yeah. their screens just like we are. Yeah. Being like, right, what is yes. it? What's it going to be? What is it going to be? There's no way. <laughs> I feel like we need a 1% margin of error to call it. I mean, at that point, we're so tight, we're less than a percent. Oh, I my know. gosh. This is crazy. Oh, there it went. Let's see. Uh, no, still less than a... There, still. There, there we're going now. Okay. Oh. Oh. Wow. Got yeah, every, everybody votes. get your votes in, so that way we can uh, make it happen. Yeah. If you're looking for where to vote, oh. Mark's putting oh gosh, it in the chat awesome. each time. So scroll back up and find the uh, link if you haven't seen it. But uh, But, yeah, it is super close right now. Good gosh. I... We'll give you guys just a little bit more time, and yep. then uh, we'll make it happen. But yeah, I, I actually like both these games, but yeah. uh, but for me, it's a clear winner. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. So. Unbelievable. Uh, Check this out. Who's going to let me that? Oh, wow. 150, 149 votes. Unreal. <laughs> There's people in the chat. Saying everything all over the place. <laughs> That's crazy. All right, cool. Awesome. Well, let me refresh the results one more time. <laughs> Still oh real close. It's so and close. we're going to call it here. Six votes. Yep. And we have 100 something votes, or 154 for what I have here. I can refresh it one more time. One more time. 158. There, I refreshed it one more time. 158. That is 51% for Ticket to Ride. Ride. Down wow. Blood Rage. 81 votes. And then Blood Rage is 77 votes. Wow, that's crazy. That was amazing. That's the best voting yet. Because Blood Rage was in the lead, and then it swung back yeah. to Ticket to Ride. Right. It was, yeah, that, that was awesome. You're beating it quite handily. Yeah, it, it passed it. So everybody's like, no, no, no. I'm getting out there. I'm voting. I'm making my... my <laughs> My yeah. voice heard. Oh, my voice hey. heard. I'm exercising my right. <laughs> Man, awesome. that is tricky. Cool. Well, the next one is going to be like a um, Euro game smash up here with yeah. with uh, terraforming okay. Mars versus yeah. Viticulture. Yikes. Let's see. Let me get back into it. Hang on one second. I gotta, uh, hold on. I've got to fix this. <laughs> Yeah, which one is it? Is uh, it it's, hold on. Yeah, I got a, it's I messed that one up. Uh, I did a copy paste and I didn't change stuff. Hold on. Oh. Uh, did you put it in the, yeah. the chat already? No, not yet. Okay, good. Good, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, so uh Terraforming Mars versus Viticulture. Man, Terraforming Mars is such a great it's, Indian building game, uh-huh. but the worker placement of Viticulture, especially with that Tuscany, I know people are all about Stonemire and making that yeah. happen, so Oh yeah, right. This one's insanely tough, though. Just it... oof. So if people are still asking where they can vote. Um, there is going to Mark is going to be putting a link in the chat that people Momentary. will be able to click on. He, we are doing this live, so he doesn't know exactly yeah. which things are going to pair. <laughs> so he has to make a actual poll, put those together while I'm trying to get the graphics and pictures all together at the same time. And it's, I'm it's, doing it's a, a production over here. To be real honest <laughs> with you. Brian's like... job is to try to sway your vote one way or the other. And he's... <laughs> sway the votes. That's what I'm here for, is to to argue for the benefit of me. 
Yes. Just say that. Everybody's ravenous to get this boat. I know. It's already underway. Okay, there it is. It, there, it is now in the chat. Yeah, everybody. There it is. Yep. <clears throat> Man, this one is tricky. How uh, how did you just make it? And there's already like 80 votes as soon as bro, I refresh I it. 80 votes. It's, it's people are that ready to vote. They're like, no. People are extremely yeah. ready to vote on these things. I love it. That's awesome. Gosh. This is okay. So this is kind of going the way. It's weird because if we if we would have a, like a uh, a quick phone in guest from Mr. Stephen Bonacore right now, I feel like everyone would be like, you know, he's right. I, I am a terrible person. <laughs> I don't. Want to him. He's gonna <laughs> like, bust through the door if this doesn't go his way. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. What's wrong with you people? I, I, I it's me. You love me. You know. <laughs> so, like, oh, he's such a fun guy. But but these are two like just titans of excellence in their field. Both of these oh, for games. Sure. Like, this is a rough one. And definitely oh, wildly man. popular. I, I'm but curious because yeah. Carla's not watching this. I'm very curious about which one she would pick because these are two of her favorites. I feel like she would pick Terraforming Mars all day. Yeah. Um, but if if you're asking me, I, I'm going to pick between these two, I'm going to pick uh, Viticulture just because I'm not as good of a tableau builder like that. Yeah. I just love engine building and the fact that Terraforming yeah. Mars, I love, I don't know, wh which is cooler? colonizing mars or making wine i mean ma some people really like wine but i'm just saying Own a vineyard you're not just making one is wine. the future <laughs> one is the past right right yeah this would this would be all i'd be all terraforming mars here 100 percent yeah you, you haven't heard about the new elon musk brand of, of wine i mean it's, just, right. it's the future and the past together <laughs> there, you there you go they pair so well Dude, that does sound like something he would do though it oh does. my goodness <laughs> Musk wine just doesn't sound good. <laughs> right. <laughs> but I, I really like both these games, though, so... Yes. Oh, awesome. Man, well, dude. you guys, we'll give you a little bit of time just because uh, the the we had to get the votes in, but I feel like it's pretty decisive at this point. Yeah, I think so, too. This one is... Yeah, wow. Awesome. Somebody said, somebody said Venus in the chat. I'm like, well, you <laughs> could play Venus. My brain explodes anytime I play a Lacerda game. I get it to the table and I go, yeah, this sounds like a good idea. The, the like, chat's saying that I'm, I'm always picking the loser. Listen, <laughs> I know I know my tastes are niche in the board game industry. <laughs> I'm like the board game, game the board game hipster. <laughs> okay, cool. Well, let's let's look yeah. at the poll here. We are at... Let me refresh it one more time. Okay, cool. Somebody said um, both so, of these games are ugly. You take that back, sir. Viticulture <laughs> wins at 54% with 92 votes. Hype! And That's Terraforming good. Mars is second with 45% and 77 votes. 169 votes there. That's pretty pretty, pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty impressive. I like this. Combined to make Viticulture on Mars. I would <laughs> love to see <laughs> That would be amazing. awesome. Uh, we I need can. to get more uh, board game company collaborations, man. Like DC and Marvel used to do back in the '90s, like the Amalgam comics, right? Cool. I'm pretty sure I, I moved the right one this time. So our four <laughs> games that are left are Wingspan versus Scythe, and then Ticket to Ride versus Viticulture. So oh, no. here's the little <laughs> the little semifinals right here that we gotta do with both of these. Um, and let me see if I can find the correct games. Wait, what was it? Wingspan versus Scythe. Oh my goodness. It's going to be like, dude, this, the Stonemeyer fans are yeah. like hardcore up in here because it oh, is yeah. like all Stonemeyer games. And then Charterstone's over in the corner and be like, guys, remember that experience you had with your friends? <laughs> and you, I, I loved it. I love Wingspan Charter versus Stone. Scythe. It doesn't get as much. Wingspan <clears throat> versus Scythe. Here we go. You guys ready? You guys ready for this vote? Jamie's out there Stuart. tweeting, we won all the games! We won all the games! <laughs> <laughs> all right, here, go. here it comes. All right. Boom. Action. I'm going to see if I can find it. <laughs> Somebody in chat says, Stone My Royale. Yes. <laughs> that is what it has turned into. Yeah, totally. Oh, man, there's some bouncing back and forth. Yeah, we'll have to I, see on this one. I am impressed that there are three Stolmar games in this in this round. Yeah, definitely. Oh, That's, for sure. For sure. Yeah, this is this is going the way, in my opinion, it needs to go. I mean, just... <laughs> yeah. I, would, I know way, Mike Delicio's oh. over there, like, rubbing his hands together, like, yes, finally you realize Stolmar's <laughs> amazing. I'm like, come on. <laughs> That's awesome. Come on, Mike. 
Yeah, uh, I mean, side would, <laughs> side would be my 100% my pick here. I wouldn't even oh. think twice about it. Oh, yeah, for sure. Wow, yeah. it just made – it's like super close right now. Yeah. yeah. It's – oh, my gosh. Oh. Whoa, what is happening? I got to vote. I got to go vote right now. <laughs> <laughs> These birds can't snatch this victory away from me. <laughs> <laughs> that would be amazing. Whoa. Just, just so everybody has a little bit of incentive. This is not the final thing. But just so everybody has a little bit of incentive. This is what the poll looks right now. 50-50 with 77 oh, voters on each. Uh-huh. What? What? Oh, now we got 78 to 77. This is unreal. On, 79-79. Sure this is oh. unreal. 79 to 80 votes now. There was a there was a hawk in my yard the other day that, that like swooped down to attack me. Why would I vote for this? This is terrifying. <laughs> That's not a made up story either. It sounded made up, but this is true. Oh man. <laughs> huh. Attacked by three people are making all the difference right now. Right? Oh my gosh, this is four Come people. On, you... Oh, it looks like <sighs> one's definitely pulling ahead. So we'll give you guys just a few more minutes here, and then we will go ahead and announce the winner. Oh, this one's been wow, pretty heated. Tight. This is the favorite voting so far. This is awesome. Yeah. Oh, so my man. chat says Tapestry is the best game from Stolmeyer. Oh, nah. I do love Tapestry. Yet again. Nah. Tapestry yeah. and Charterstone don't get enough love. I love both of those. Uh, now, it's funny. Carla does not like Tapestry very much at all. I love it. She's wrong a lot. <laughs> wow, the more I wait, the more it just evens back out. Like, are people going in and changing their votes? They're like, I love both these games. I want to see them both win. So they're going and changing it each time? Right. Boy, I don't know that you can actually change your vote gets on gets this up, Just call it. Just call yeah, it. Yeah, just call it. <laughs> what side is up? <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Well, that's the end of this. I'm going to go ahead and call it with what we got here oh. just because uh, we have to move the show on. And Cy the wins Side. with fifty-one wow. percent and eighty-nine votes, but yeah. Wingspan is at forty-eight percent with eighty-five votes. So, so and close. And Cy, Cy pulled way ahead at the beginning, and then Wingspan just yeah, caught right yeah. back up with it to where they were even. It was insane. Well, that was I'm insane. not gonna lie. When that I saw the really bracket, I thought Wingspan really was really gonna take really the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. Nice. That was fun. Right, let's move that side the box up here. And this next one, wow, this will oh, be interesting. I hope, interesting. I hope a certain one wins, just so that way we're not Stonemire versus Stonemire. I'm not trying to oh, yeah. forecast that or anything. Oh wow, you're right. <laughs> I, th- I really do think it's going ticket to, to ride versus Viticulture now. Gosh, all right, getting ready, you guys, ready for this? Countdown: one, two, three, boom. Let me see if I can find it. Whoa, the chat is going so quickly. Those yeah. arrogant birds deserved it. <laughs> That's my favorite comment of the whole time. <laughs> I just had a Elizabeth Hartgrave on my podcast, and she was charming. Yeah, so. yeah it was great. It was yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, if you do feel bad for Wingspan, make sure to go check that out. I'm sure uh, nobody at Stone Meyer is feeling sad about any of this. No. <laughs> right, <No>. exactly. <laughs> Oh, oh, man. I thought That's this would pretty... be closer. Okay. Well, no, this is not going at all the way I thought it was going to go. Yeah. Wow. Right. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Well, interesting. Robert Geislinger in chat saying viticulture all day long. Yep. Yeah. Of course he is. Of course <laughs> he is. But yeah. Are you going to go with the classic gateway game of Ticket to Ride? Or are you going to make some grapes? Make grapes. <laughs> make grapes. Make right. wine. Remember how you felt that first time you connected to Los Angeles to Chicago. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this is tricky. It is. Although I, I would have loved to have seen Ticket to Ride versus Scythe, but I'm I'm not Me so too. certain we are now. Man. Yeah. Well, I think this was man, all of the I, all of these have been extremely close, like overall. Yeah. Like they've been way closer than I thought. So there's definitely fans of all of these games on both sides Ticket with all the matchups wide. for the most part. Ticket to wine. <laughs> Ticket to wine. <laughs> oh, wow. I just okay. got a, a Stonemeyer Insider email that said, please go vote for my... It's so weird. No, I'm kidding. That's, that's <laughs> <weird. It's> not... <laughs> I wouldn't ba- put it past Jamie, man. Right? He, he does not play around with marketing. <laughs> vote for those trains. <laughs> okay, cool. Well, we are going... Wow. Oh, I was going to go ahead and call it, but then when I refreshed, a certain game was pushing up faster. 
But it definitely looks like it's definitely definitely yeah. uh, not that close as ones we've had in the past. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and call this one. And we're going to look at the poll. And it is the winner's Viticulture with 53% and 93 votes. And yep. Ticket to Ride has 46% with 81 votes. Thanks, everybody, mm -hmm. for voting. But yeah, this is going to be Stolmeyer versus Stolmeyer here at the end. Yeah. Zid, don't get scared now. Come on, let's let's do this. Wow. Almost there. You're good. You're doing a fantastic job. <laughs> All right. Scythe Final versus round. Viticulture. Do you like mechs? Do you like wine? <laughs> what do you like most? How are they related? They're not, but uh, you know. <laughs> All right. Almost done. Oh, man. Okay. Here we go, guys. Boom. Into <laughs> chat. I know, right? Robert. Robert's asking, how much is Stegmeyer saying to sponsor it? No, definitely not. Definitely not. No. <laughs> but okay. if he's offering cash, I will I will shill all day. Will, you know? Yes. <laughs> nope. The Dice Tower cannot be bought. <laughs> no. <laughs> Three, I'm two, only... one. Vote. Oh, ooh, where is this one gonna go? I uh, this one's tough. This is like put Stonemeyer on the map versus what? Uh, gosh. All right. Hey, make your predictions now, Chad. I want to know what you think is going to win, not what you want to win. What do you think is gonna win? Yeah, for sure. I don't know. It's got a hundred percent side for me. Brant uh, Sanderson, Viticulture doesn't have Max. What are you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm definitely down with Scythe. I'm definitely down with... <laughs> definitely down with Scythe. Yeah. Some well, mechs, you know, a little bit of combat, a little, little bit of uh, resource management. I guess they both have resource management. They do. Sure. But there's just so much going on that makes Scythe... Uh, the thing I love is the fact... And it's weird to me that the, um, that the, 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 the... What's the map called that moves and you can change it around the whatever? It's weird that that exists because of the Riverwalk stuff was so well oh, thought yeah, out yeah. and done. First time. Right. Yep. Modular board. That's the one. Modular board, yep. Everybody's saying Scythe will win in the chat. Yeah. It's still pretty close. We gotta, like, give this one, we gotta give this a little bit longer vote on this final one. Yeah, this is the yeah. final round. Scythe versus Viticulture. <clears throat> Everybody voted out. Let's see what's gonna happen. I mean, this is Hogan and Andre, man. Nine, uh, eighty-seven. There's a slam it's down a, right here. I have an Andre story. <laughs> Do you really? Yes. Yeah, so when I was in college, I was, went to the Colorado Institute of Art, and I was there for photography. And WWF came to town. I wrote them a letter, said, "Can I shoot? Can I take photos <laughs> for an assignment at school?" And uh, like a week before the event, they called me and invited me out like an hour before the event started. And they bring me down to the ring, and the Ultimate Warrior nice. and Andre the Giant come out into the <laughs> ring with me. Which was amazing. It was so much fun, and Andre was just the nicest guy. Oh my gosh, it was so so much fun. Where did you come up on? I, I don't. I've seen you in person, but where did you come up on to him? I, I mean, it was like, and his hand was as big as my head. Oh my gosh, just crush. <laughs> That's awesome. That's crazy. He's amazing. He was just so nice. So there's been lots. There's been several more votes, but it hasn't yeah. really changed. No, it hasn't, hasn't really changed, changed what we're mm -hmm. gonna get. So I'm going to go ahead and call this thing. This is, it. This is the final winner yes. of the Battle Royale People's Choice Edition. And Scythe with 53% yeah. and 82 votes. And Viticulture with 46% and 72 votes. Giving the entire thing to Scythe. Dun, dun, dun. I, I know you're not supposed to read comments that are overly negative, but I keep seeing people, and I, he's probably joking to say this is sponsored by Stolen. But like, you people voted. We didn't, we didn't vote for Yeah, this. yeah. You I mean, voted. if you know anything about me, <laughs> if it was my choice, uh -huh. none of these games would have been on the list. Right, right, I'm totally. Yeah. No, no. Oh, it's kind of, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I hope, awesome. hope everybody enjoyed this. Yeah. Um, I'm going to try to make Scythe a little bit bigger here because it, it just deserves yeah, to should. be bigger. I feel bigger like we need victory uh, lap thing here victory like, oh crushing man all that was games. good it was yeah oh man Let's that's that was fun that was so much fun though it was okay 
I'm doing all this through Photoshop, which I know is very <laughs> un unconventional. So <laughs> look at you. But uh, but yeah, thanks everybody for showing up. Um, we might do more of these in the future <laughs> with a little bit more of a theme to them. Um, letting yeah, people sure. pick games that we do that have a specific theme to them. Um, definitely let us know in the comments below what theme you would love to see a battle royale done in. Um, it'd definitely be awesome to uh, have everybody come back out. And I think I think this worked out really good with everybody else voting. It left it so we didn't know how things were going to go. There was definitely twists and turns around every corner. And uh, Plus, it was fun to get a lot of interaction. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. The, the voting added so much to this. It was so fun. Mm -hmm. And thanks for coming out and voting, too, and just yeah. hanging out with us. Yeah, yeah for sure. Great. Well, I hope everybody is having a good time out there and staying safe. Um, but yeah, I guess we're going to wrap this thing up. Thanks for everybody for coming and, uh, we'll start seeing everybody on the next time. I'm Roy Kennedy. Brian I'm Drake. Mark <laughs> Brian he's, Drake. He's Mark Street. He's Mark Street. I'm Brian Drake. Wait. I should clarify. <laughs> definitely make sure to check out Mark's previews and check yes. out Brian's reviews. We're definitely doing tons of those all over the channel. And of course, I'm always behind the scenes working on, we got a, uh, top 10 list coming out tomorrow we got board game breakfast coming out tomorrow we got lots of awesome stuff coming up for everybody on the dice tower make sure to check those out and we'll see everybody next time bye Round one. Fight.